Hey, what's up guys? It's Christian here with GoGreenVLean.com and today I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas. We're actually heading up to Dallas this weekend for a jiu-jitsu tournament. Again, that's a jiu-jitsu, sorry, jiu-jitsu tournament. And uh, I just wanted to show you what I'm prepping with for pre-tournament meals and whatnot uh, for breakfast, for lunch, and then of course like a light dinner usually, um, <clears throat> which I'll have after the weigh-in. So we got some spinach right here. Um, I love adding spinach to my smoothies because it's just a really kind of mild flavored green. And we have about six bananas in here. So. I just do that at the end because it helps to get rid of some of those bubbles. You see how it's kind of like pulling them down the center. So it makes your, your drink smoother. And bon appetit. So I already had uh, one of these 22 ounce bottles of water and um, I just drank that as soon as I finished my run and now I'm gonna have this six banana and about a cup of spinach smoothie. And um, yeah, that's it for breakfast. I'm gonna show you what I'm having for lunch too. Probably gonna just be fruit. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Coming to you from the car on the road trip up to Dallas. And I'm just gonna show with you some of the stuff that we brought along to stay healthy with on the road. Uh, I just had an apple as a snack. It's about 12 o'clock, so it's lunchtime. And um, probably gonna chow on a couple bananas, um, pretty much just fruit for lunch. And then for dinner, we're probably gonna grab some greens, some salad greens, and uh, make ourselves a nice salad with our Vitamix that we have with us too. So uh, let's take a peek at what we got in the car for snack food. All right, so you can see that we brought a bunch of dates. Got one, two, three things of dates, and got uh, probably about six or seven bunches of bananas in there. Um, got a couple mangoes in there too, and we brought some kiwis. Those are great for before cardio workouts. Um, a little bit of the amazing wheatgrass to add to our smoothies in the morning. And we got some grapefruits down there too, that's for my dad. And uh, a couple of these little mini poppers too that go great with the peanut butter. Homemade peanut butter that we make in the Vitamix too. So. so you can see we brought a lot of supplies along. That's because we want to be prepared. We want to have plenty to eat so that we don't have to resort to eating junk food or gas station food. Okay, so I'm inside and this is basically all I'm getting is just some water and then probably grab, if you need to, you can grab a couple of these nuts. Like right over here, you have just the plain almonds, whole, natural, no added salt, what you're going for. If it's sodium, it says zero. These are probably your best bet if you have to get a snack inside. You didn't bring anything else with you on the road. And of course, you always have the option of getting some really underripe fruit too. All right guys, so stay tuned for the update of what I'm gonna have after dinner, after getting to the weigh-in and getting settled up in Dallas and um, I might do another shopping trip up in Dallas as well to kind of showcase what I would pick out when I'm on the road just because I've learned that there's certain things that you really don't want to have in a hotel room and there's things that you can actually keep in a hotel room pretty well so um, keep up to date for that I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video and be sure to comment rate subscribe down below if you like it also be sure to head over to gogreenbelean.com to get more great recipe tips advice uh, fitness advice and if you're interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one private with me, um, just send me an email to childscg at gmail.com and just put uh, private in the subject line.